اللحظات الأخيرة إني أنا كنت أنا وزوجتي قاعدين في الصالون وعمال بنيم البنات عددهم ثلاث بنات وولدين حطناهم في غرفة آمنة ربما إنه يكون في قصف في الشارع يكونوا بعدين عنه What do I say to something like this? You know, it's it's very difficult to make these videos and make them such that they're not going to incite people to be furious. She's a six-year-old girl and she's been in the rubble for seven hours and they took her out. So this is for you people that are still sitting on the fence. 58 children have been killed in Gaza and Israel is still looking us square in the eyes and telling us they're killing Hamas. How many more children have to die? She was one of the blessed ones. I'm not going to say lucky because life and death is in the hands of Allah. If Allah wills somebody to survive, Israel can send every single bomb it has in its arsenal and nothing's going to happen. But if Allah wills for somebody to die, the smallest of things will kill him. David and Goliath, Dawud He found a place, that's where we hit the rock and he died. So for those people that are watching and thinking it's a political issue, Israel and Palestine, no, 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 no. Realize that life and death is in the hands of Allah. Honor and disgrace is in the hands of Allah. Allah gives it to whomever he pleases. Yeah, when we die, we die as a martyr, we go close to Allah. And if we die with faith, we have hope to enter the company of Allah in paradise. But as long as we are here, we are representatives of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are Khalifas, vice generates of Allah on this planet. And wherever we see injustice, be it East Turkestan, be it Kashmir, be it Burma, be it Yemen, Wherever it may be, Muslim, BLM, yeah, anti Semitism, whatever it may be, yeah, injustice is injustice. And as a Muslim, we have a duty to stand up against it. Be it in our households, in our workplaces, hmm? in our relationships. If there's injustice taking place, then you should speak out. Yeah, the result is not in our control. Yeah, we know we've been told Islam will be prevalent. Yeah, Isa alayhi salam will come. He will deal with what needs to be dealt with. Huh? So we do. We don't worry about the consequences. But as long as we are here, do your best. Allah will do the rest. If somebody comes into your home wielding a weapon, you know what you do first of all. You don't start praying. You grab a weapon. You hide, you get into your position, then you pray. Do your best, Allah will do the rest. So in causes like this, we need to make our voices heard. Are you listening to me? Yeah, enough is enough. Yeah, enough is enough of, uh, no, let's hear your opinion, my opinion. No, no, no. You see stuff like this and look at this. This is my child. This is your child. Look at the shock on his face. You know, in my videos, it sometimes it takes me it takes me time, yeah, because I don't want to, you know, do an emotional thing. But they, I'm a human being, for God's sake. Look at this child. We talk about PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome. We talk about trauma. When someone's mother or somebody's loved one gets slapped about, Allah forbid, as a child, it leaves you traumatic. Look at this child. When you go to a therapist, it takes 15, 20, half an hour, hour, one session, two session for them 
to reach your trauma, then they can start undoing it. Cognitive behavioral therapy and the likes. But here, you're gonna undo this? Look at this child! Now I'm not somebody that's gonna show you videos of of blood and gore. There's enough of that on Twitter. There's enough of that on TikTok. There's enough of that on Instagram. Yeah, we have enough of that on WhatsApp as well. But look at these two. If you're on the fence, you work for YouTube and you're okay with Israelis putting their propaganda at the beginning of videos. At the beginning of videos. Propaganda. Doesn't that go against your... Uh, Terms and conditions, because the amount of boxes I have to tick before I put a video out there, Israel seems to be violating half of them. Not to mention the children and the women. Honestly, I can come on camera and wallahi I feel like crying a river here. Crying a river. That's not going to achieve anything. So whatever is in your capacity. You work for YouTube, you do what you need to do. You work for a docking station that is shipping weapons to Israel. Like in Italy, we saw the dock worker said, no, we're not going to do this. That's right. Footballers on the pitch, Palestine forever. Celebrities on their platforms. You got average individuals going to marches. You got other individuals calling for the Khalifa. Whatever it may be, whatever your school of thought, whatever capacity, continue doing what you are doing. Continue. You will feel peace here. Eh? And they will feel the Ummah is one body. They will feel you're doing something. You will give them toleration as well. Although, wallahi, I think the Iman is better than ours. Well, mine anyway. Maybe you guys watching, mashallah. May Allah bless you. <sighs> what can I say? See you guys next time, inshallah.